good morning guys everything new under the sun here this is well I don't know if it's a weekly vlog or, or something it is Canada day so I'm just shooting a at least a portion of the vlog here you can see the nice new Canada flag I just put up last night just in the nick of time it is July 1st today as of when I'm recording this yeah, you can see the flag as the wind picks up just a wee bit we got the uh, geraniums on the Nice red geraniums that uh, are nice color for Canada Day. It's nice and sunny and bright. I can actually see in the sun all the, well, I don't know what they are, puffs of stuff from the uh, fluff from the tree floating through the air, which is pretty nice. And uh, now that I want to record, of course, there's lots of cars going by. Nice and peace and quiet here for a while. There's the last one. So all I could hear before was birds. Birds and wind, that's it. I'm on my second cup of coffee here. It is a beautiful day. It's very sunny, very warm. I am in my sweater, but that's because I came from a cool house. My, my big old house is cool inside, pleasantly cool, not too bad. So today we're going to go down to the uh, Canada Day Parade in North Rustico, Prince Edward Island, and uh, check out the festivities and go hang out and listen to some music for a little while, with Ivy being you know, three months old or four months old, whatever, I don't know, she is, I don't know. Um, anyway, three young kids, you, you can't stay there all day, as per usual, so we're going to We'll go down there for uh, I don't know an hour or two. See how it, how we fare. Ivy's over there in the shade, just enjoying the weather and the sound. <clears throat> I can't bring her over here because it is too sunny and hot. Over here, there's no real shade other than the swing shade that I'm under. I'm actually gonna take off my sweater shortly here. Um. In terms of updates, I have a new lens coming for this camera. This one is all scratched. I'm just looking at a scratch right now, right on the lens. And uh, so I've got a new lens coming for it very shortly. As well, my new microphone. Uh, it would have arrived today, actually. It's in the particular location where I know it would have arrived today if um, Canada Post was delivering. Uh, but since it's a holiday, it'll get here Monday. So I'll have an unboxing next week of the... Uh, the Blue Yeti microphone, I think that'll really improve. I think that that's going to be a key piece of my setup uh, for, for the videos that I'm doing, really take the quality up a notch. I'm not there for high definition um, uh, webcam video stuff. I mean, I could use my, my Garmin Verb. There's no reason why I couldn't use my Garmin Verb. And maybe I will do that. Maybe I can plug it in via USB and I can actually, I don't know if I can trigger it through software to start or not. I might be able to. <clears throat> certainly my D90 um, it does take videos and it's great for um, bokeh you know and, and focus and and uh, blurring the background that's the bokeh and doing some real high quality videos at uh, at a nice cinematic 24 frames per second um, but the problem is it only takes five minutes of video at a time um, I just I got it well six years ago seven years ago? I don't know when I got it a while ago yeah maybe seven years ago and uh, just before the I don't know it was just in, in that in-between time where uh, DSLRs were kind of um, getting video on board there were some like I think the uh, I think the Canon cameras did uh, did the video um, longer video but, um, yeah, mine the only takes five minute videos and it doesn't do auto focus. So, morning, Jack. Alrighty, I am back. Um, had to get the children breakfast. As per the uh, usual process in the morning, Ivy is still sitting over there, happy as a. In a pod, something like that. 
So I was saying about um, the D90s. Um, yeah, so I can only record five minutes at a time, and there's no autofocus in record mode uh, well, when it's recording video. So you have to sit there and either focus it prior to taking the video, which is a pain in the neck, um, or well, there, there's no options. You have to you have to focus during the video, I guess, which then is a pain because then you have to go behind the camera. And of course, all the new cameras do uh, you know unlimited length uh, videos. Baby's starting to cry. And uh, the new new cameras do uh, autofocus as well. I'm sure the kind of the latest DSLRs I'll, I'll do autofocus and even um, I mean the the pocket cameras whatever they're called do that as well and so I, I may look into a more of a better pocket size camera that would do autofocus and longer videos 1080p videos and uh, that may serve me a little bit better in a number of scenarios than than the Garmin Verb which I'm taking this video with now this is great for action stuff but you know not not great for macros and close-ups and all that sort of thing so as part of general uh, updating of my equipment goes uh, we'll start with the microphone there and then maybe uh, you know if I can get a second-hand uh, camera pocket camera then uh, that that would uh, work well for the channel as well and uh, have some I don't need anything special I don't I only need even 720 uh, video, nothing special. I mean, all, all the handheld cameras have been doing that forever, with autofocus, obviously, and uh, uh, a short focal focal distance, focus distance. That would be ideal because then I can kind of, you know, if I'm showing uh, mail detecting like coins or something, I can kind of bring them right up close and have it focus on there, and then take them away and then focus on me again. So that autofocus is pretty key um, to improving the general video taking stuff that I have so that's part of the plan so yeah those are things uh, on that I don't know if they're near future or not but uh, I'll be thinking about them certainly on a, on a different uh, topic here I must say that the the whippersnipper worked really well you probably you can't see it but I did whippersnipper around the, uh, the we got three oak trees up front here and the signpost and the uh, well, I didn't whippersnip around the, the uh, telephone pole, but I did around the stairs here at the bottom, and uh, it worked really well. I'm quite happy with it. It's, uh, you know, watch the full review. I did a video last week, I guess, about the Black & Decker 18-volt cordless uh, whippersnipper. It worked really well, though. And uh, it's not as powerful, obviously, as a gas, not as fast as a gas. Um, it takes a bit longer to go through the thicker stuff. But uh, it's really handy. Anyways, Ivy's starting to cry, so I better go manage that situation. <laughs>